<laughs> What's the unboxing? What it be? Well, I don't know. Shut up and see. Hey, friends. You ever have one of those days where things are really not going your way? And then the sun tuck comes out and it's all good? It's kind of the day I'm having today. So, uh, sun tuck mug holds all kinds of of uh, liquids not just coffee we're gonna get right to it this is the auctioneer um, by Joan Sampson and uh, I'm thrilled to get it uh, I'm also a little high because um, the well sets on the way and all's well that ends wells you're probably going to hear that joke again in about a week. In about a week. When I get the books and need material. Sun top tape. Sun top tape. Get that book. Get that book. Get the book. I never read it. I haven't read it. I have the ARC. Um, and there are any number of uh, other copies I could have read, but... I'm waiting for the Artist Gift Edition for this baby, because when uh, Paul does Artist Gift Editions, those are the ones I read. That's my rule. That's my rule. That's Jeff's rule. Bookmark. There's, you know, there's a set of these bookmarks. You know that bookmark pack I unboxed? You bought it for 25 bucks. It's selling right now on eBay for 102 for the bookmarks. People, people seek this stuff out. They're going to seek this stuff out. That's one for auctioneer. Very cool. Very cool. This book is like signed by everybody. I'll show it to you. So, this is the numbered edition. The slipcase. Ah, oh, really cool. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show it to you. Oh, very cool slipcase. I like cows. Cows are delicious. And then, oh, interesting. So, very, very cool sort of spine design. Sun top logo. Really cool. Really cool. I like it. Now, I do know that um, Paul mentioned in one of his Facebook Live videos that the spine for this baby is flat. So... It's got a, a, a profile that's very square. He liked the way it went into the slipcase. So I concur. <laughs> oh, oh, Jeffing off agrees with Paul? Oh, somebody called the press. Because of course Jeff agrees with Paul. So very flat. I mean, I, I, like, I like a rounded spine. Um... But this is cool. Knowing that that's how it's intended to be, I like it. Because sometimes I'm like, wait, is it supposed to be that way? I'm just a weirdo. Cool. Uh, you, could, you could see the texture um, and you could feel it. Everything on this board, you, you could feel that. It's, um, it, it looks like, you know, it looks like plywood or press board. Very cool. Very cool. I say that all the time with Sun Tup unboxings. Very cool. Slim tome. So um, let's open it up. The auctioneer. I'm pumped to read it. Somebody, I think Grady Hendrix said, the auctioneer is like if uh, Cormac McCarthy had written Needful Things, you'd get the auctioneer. Wow. I love Needful Things, and Cormac McCarthy is a brilliant writer. Um, so the auctioneer, I assume... The signatures are in the back. Oh, and Grady Hendrix, yeah, wrote wrote the preface for this edition. So, um, very interesting. This is the only book this author's ever written. She passed away, um, tragically, not long after. So, um, it's signed by a whole slew of people. Four names right there. It's my number 23. Number 23 is home, where she belongs. So those are the signatures. Um, 
Very, 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 very cool. So it's signed um, by uh, Warren Carberg Jr., who wrote the introduction, and I believe that is uh, um, Joan Sampson's widower. Um, and uh, Grady Hendrix, who wrote the preface. Wendell Miner, who illustrated the first edition dust jacket. And um, <clears throat> Dave Christensen, who did the art. I, all, this is the second Sun Tup book with David Christensen's signature, or Dave Christensen's signature. Um, uh, Misery was the first. Misery. He signed the Artist Gift Edition. I know, I don't have the number. <laughs> but I do have the Artist Gift Edition, so just, you know, his signature's in there. Um, Dave, yeah. So, awesome, and I can't wait to read it. I will not be reading this one, as I stated earlier, waiting for that AGE to hit me. And um, <clears throat> so even as I unbox this, the two Wells books, um, Invisible Man and War of the Worlds, are pending. So I will be high again in about a week. Uh, so gang, what do I do? Do I display thusly like I did the other ones? Or thusly? I do like that. I do like that printed on spine um, design. Very cool. Very cool. Very nice. Another home run. Another home run. Very cool. Love it. Very happy with this. And um, that's it. That's the unboxing. Whew. Outstanding stuff. You can go to the website. Sun Tup's got a bunch of books available. I believe there are only seven more of those uh, uh, poetry books. Uh, the Simic World Doesn't End available. I'm so, I'm pumped about that, really, totally honest. Um, you know, Bridges of Madison County was a leap for me when Paul did that as a lettered um, only. I was probably sort of relieved because I really didn't really, really didn't really. I didn't want to go that route, maybe. Um, I, I am curious, though. I think I'm going to read that one. But um, this is, the poetry book is also another departure from, from where he's, uh, Paul has made his stand and built his customer base, but that's what I'm pumped about. I'm actually really excited. Uh, I hope I connect with that poetry, but that's not all that's available. You can get the auctioneer, the AGE. There's a few copies. 1984 is almost gone. The artist gift edition for that. Um, I believe there will probably be FOMO once people see my channel and um, other people unboxing 1984. You'll be like, oh, that slipped through my fingers. It's available right now. Save yourself the pain. Um, Dr. Suntub's got a prescription for that FOMO. Take one AGE. So you got the poetry book, numbered and lettered. You want a lettered edition from Suntub. Amazing they're available. Very rarely are they available. So you got the poetry book. You got Auctioneer. You got 1984. You got Brother. Now this week, so... Wow, so much sun tup news. Yeah, I kind of need to take notes and put stuff down and prompt myself uh, or have a teleprompter to remember what I want to say because uh, not only are the Wells books in, in uh, uploading, they're uploading to the Matrix, um, they're, they're inbound. Also, Paul's going to announce another book this week and everybody thinks it's Tanya Allborn's Seed. That's this Thursday, I believe. Wednesday, I'll do a Facebook Live, so check that out. And then, then everybody orders the book on Thursday, and it'll be, it'll be fun. And there are copies of Brother currently available. That'll go really well with Seed. There's a pairing. I don't know. And, and this week is the first 350 uh, print run for the numbered. Um, Paul's kind of getting into that, getting into those waters, I think. Uh, some books will still have the 250 print run. Um, and, uh, and so that's, that's all great, but I think the future is going to be 350. Once, uh, Paul does new contracts, he'll probably be trying to bake in that 350 print run. So, um, get on board. You'll be there. You'll be there. Those people who buy this week and get between 251 and 350, those numbers, you will have rights to the next edition that has a print run of 350. So you'll be locked in. And um, it'll, it's worth something to me, in my opinion, to have that, have those rights. Um, to put a number on it, it's worth about $500. But to me, it's the piece 
of, of, of being on that train and knowing that you get um, first dibs um, is worth more than $500. So get on over and um, keep watching because I promise this hair is going to do awful things the longer this lockdown goes.